All right. <clears throat> so Tom's back and he is bringing to us the machine. All right. Every time I want to go into a Tom song, I have to like adjust myself and be prepared for what's to come. All right. Without any further ado, people, let's go. I am not Republican, I am not a liberal. Why the hell can't I just be American without getting political? The system gon' suppress us all, they don't care about the cost. How's this a democracy when we got communists in charge? Cancel culture Nazis, all they're missing is the swastikas. Honestly, this is a psychological holocaust. Pumping propaganda through the screen and straight into your brain. You ain't on a plantation, but you definitely still a slave. Race theory is indoctrinating children. Tell blacks they're disadvantaged, tell whites they got white privilege. What a brilliant way to reinforce division. If whites believe they have it easy, they will never help you fight the system and now they br you're not in the plantation but you're still a slave race theory when the blacks believe that they are disadvantaged and the white believe that they've got it easy oh my <laughs> okay it's only 27 minutes in <laughs> Ooh. Propaganda through the screen and straight into your brain. You ain't on a plantation, but you definitely still a slave. Race theory is indoctrinating children. Tell blacks they're disadvantaged, tell whites they got white privilege. What a brilliant way to reinforce division. If whites believe they have it easy, they will never help you fight the system. And now they burn in books in untraditional ways. They just traded newspapers for the digital age. Now the facts can be deleted with no physical flames. They just change the information and the truth gets erased. They keep screaming to wake up, but they're all I am not a liberal. Progressive and traditional are hitmen hired to kill the individual. They label people red or blue, divide us. They don't ever help. They want you thinking left or right, so you ain't thinking for yourself. Go ahead and vote, because both the parties are the same side. Two teams, one coach, controlled by the same guys. Left wing, right wing, both help the same bird fly. Brainwashing everybody at the same time. The internet was once a place that we could get our facts from. Now it's been monopolized. It's Google or it's Amazon. Who fact checking the fact checkers? I can answer that one. The people. It's fat checking the fat checkers. <laughs> this guy is so cool. <laughs> this guy is so cool. Hold on a second. Red or black? I mean, red or blue? Mm, why do we have to choose a side? Oh, yeah, so that we can then argue for our team or the team we believe we're arguing for. Why the other guys are up there thinking, you bunch of idiots. <laughs> Watching everybody at the same time. The internet was once a place that we could get our facts from. Now it's been monopolized. It's Google or it's Amazon. Who fact checking the fact checkers? I can answer that one. The people who control the narratives through the platforms. Let me break this down for you, simple as I can, Kate. They use social conditioning to put you in the rat race. It doesn't matter if you're first or third or if you're last place, you're still a rat, and they're the cats who kill you so you can't escape. They keep screaming to wake up, but they're all woke not away. We know the system has failed. Republican. I am not a liberal. I am just a man who knows they're scared of a nation that's thinking critical. They kill us or they lock us up for nothing like we're criminals. Divide us because they know that unified we are invincible. Questioning the government's agenda is controversial, but promoting guns and liquor in our music is commercial. They're confusing us with pronouns they made up to make us triggered. You can call me what you want, but just don't call me late for dinner. School teaches you to learn and never teaches you to think. So you absorb misinformation, then you practice what they preach. You ain't free. Can't you see that's how they want you to act? That's called conforming to the norm. You don't need freedom for that. I'm not Republican or liberal or left wing or right leaning. I took the red pills because that's who's fighting for my freedoms. And you don't need to choose to be accepted. They both fake teams. Evil runs the world now like hell ain't got no vacancy. They keep screaming to wake up, but they're. <laughs> oh my days, man. This guy.
why it just keeps going it's only how many minutes and it's just spitting so much stuff <laughs> fighting for my freedoms and you don't need to choose to be accepted they both fake teams evil runs the world now like hell ain't got no vacancy they keep screaming to wake up but they're all woke not away we know the system has failed us and all the media's fake i swear the government hates us having opinions is dangerous the system built to enslave us only works if we're afraid Oh gosh. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> what what do you make of that? <laughs> oh my days. What I'm laughing because It worries me when, when all we need to do sometimes is just double check what he's saying. That's all we need to do sometimes. But rather than do that, we'll quickly jump into this hate frenzy. Okay. Let's 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 check a few things out. So, what's the current situation? We're trying to say, oh, this life matter, that life matter, this gender matters, that gender matters, and stuff like that. And I'm not discrediting any of them at all. But what happens when all of the attention and focus goes into that? Are the people in power doing what they're meant to be doing? For example, fixing your roads, making sure that you've got the right health care or the appropriate levels of professionals that would be able to provide that. Your policing is being caught. I know here in the UK, it's being caught right, left and centre. And then after slashing all of it, then they bring some of them back. They're like, oh, yeah, remember, we've just recruited 20,000. Oh, uh, wait, to replace the one that you got rid of in the first place you still don't have enough to be able to meet the needs of the people you will call for an ambulance it takes like three hours or four hours for you to turn up if you're a family that's got a car great you can drive your loved ones over to the hospital very very quickly hopefully they don't need health intervention before they get to the hospital if you're not one of them wants this privilege privilege enough to have that then you're sat there stuck with your loved one until the ambulance turns up whenever it is that they turn up. And it's not because they don't want to turn up, it's because they're unable to turn up because they're stretched to the full capacity get into hospital. You have to wait three, four hours before you see a, a, a doctor, or even see a nurse. And you're there for hours and end because what? The health professionals are stretched so much and then they're working at such levels then they were asked for pay rise and you get told shut up and just get on with your job but the people that are making all these decisions are kind of sitting there rewarding themselves for the poor decisions that are being made and you're like just shut up and take it these are questions you think for yourself and you tell me what you think. Oh my days. Tom. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like what we're all about, please like, subscribe, and join our community. And also, um, don't forget to leave your recommendations and I'll react to them as quickly as possible. Until next time, it has been Kings. Peace. Bye.